guys, it's Adrian here, also known as Just Sweetness. I'm going to give you a little bit of a video of how I make the drizzle caramel for the cake I'm making today. So I start off with one cup of caster sugar and a half a cup of water. I bring it to a simmer on low and then I bring the temperature up to a high, medium high, and let it come to a boil. We're going to boil this water and sugar mixture until it becomes a nice amber color. The color you're looking for, it looks similar to a rusted penny. Also, when you begin this recipe, make sure you have all of your ingredients ready to use because the process is pretty fast. With that said, you add one cup of heavy cream uh, and you pour in one teaspoon of your choice of vanilla flavoring. The more expensive or the more uh, quality vanilla you use, the better flavor you'll have in your caramel. So I've increased the heat to high, and I'm waiting for it to turn that amber color. Again, looking like an older penny. There's the temperature. Once it turns an amber penny, I'm going to remove from heat and begin to stir in the heavy cream vanilla flavor mixture. It's starting to change color now, but I mean, it's going to take a little while. Patience is a virtue. Now you put in a little bit of your heavy cream. It's because you're adding a cold substance to a very hot substance. That's why it's starting to seize up. But you keep stirring it as fast as you can. Use a wooden spoon. Ooh, it's hot, so step back. Once all of your ingredients have been properly combined, you can pour this mixture into a heat resistant bowl. It can stay there for like about an hour or two hours just to cool, completely room temperature. Then it can be stored in the refrigerator in a mason jar, a drizzle bottle, or any of your desired uh, containers. At this point, you can drizzle on any dessert you'd like, cake, cupcakes, you can use it as a filling, you could use it on any desired topping. And thanks for stopping by my channel. We'll be cooking again soon.